Well, the contentious battle over the city's drag story hour program is escalating. So over the weekend, vandals showed up outside City Council member Shaker Krishnan's Jackson Heights office. Security cameras show here someone writing slurs on the pavement and another throwing toilet paper on a fence. All of this because he supports the drag story hour initiative. But Councilman Shaker Krishan says he will not be intimidated. He's here in our studio this morning. Councilman, nice to have you on Good Day New York. Well, thank you for having me. So what's going on in Jackson Heights? Uh, over the last six months, 11 times a far-right hate group has shown up to my community of Jackson Heights, multiple times at my home with my young children there, uh, at our office, um, at our libraries, at community events, menacing parents and children, and spewing hate against our LGBTQ community. Are you scared? I am very concerned for my community, especially for our LGBTQ community in particular. Jackson Heights is the birthplace of the LGBTQ movement in Queens. And to have individuals come in who are shouting disgusting, offensive slurs. Uh, one I heard at one point on a video had said stuff like this with Drag Story Hour and, 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 and dressing up in drag. In the 90s, if it happened, you'd be beaten up and put in a garbage can. This is in a community that not only is the birthplace of the LGBTQ movement in Queens, but it started, the movement started because of violence, because of a hate crime murder against the gay man, Julio Rivera, just a few blocks away from our Jackson Heights library. So for me, I see this as it is a crucial moment for us as New Yorkers to stand up and stand in solidarity and protect our LGBTQ community, especially our trans neighbors. Tell us about uh, Drag Story Hour. Is this, I think maybe because it comes from a fear from these parents of thinking, hey, my kids are going to school and they have to be subjected to this when they don't get a choice, but that's not what it is. Absolutely. The only inappropriate and offensive things our children are hearing are the disgusting slurs coming out of the mouths of these individuals. Uh, Rosanna, you're a parent. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm a parent of young children. Let's think about it this way. On a weekend, you want to find free programming, educational programming for your children. You go to your public library where your children at Drag Story Hour are going to color, read a book like Eric Carle's The Very Hungry Caterpillar, sing nursery rhymes, and you're walking down the street to the library and you're confronted by a group of individuals in masks shouting hate speech, shouting slurs at you and your children as you walk in. Mm -hmm. For children to be singing nursery rhymes uh, and coloring. And the truth is, but it's Gen also the parents' choice to take them to Drag Story Hour. Absolutely. It is the parents' choice to go to their public library for a free program. Mm -hmm. The truth is, gender expression as a form of storytelling has a long history that goes back to the dawn of time. Shake it can across cultures, too. Shakespeare, Kabuki Theater, American pop film, lawyers in London going to court for trial. So that never got any kind of hate and hate speech before. What are we even talking about here? You know, I think that the truth is, this is not about Drag Story Hour. This is about weaponizing the innocence of our children to drive a far-right culture war. So let me ask you something. What kind of support are you getting from the community? How many people show up for Drag Story Time? Every time we have Drag Story Hour in our community, hundreds of people show up, both in solidarity, to send their children to the Story Hour and to join them, at every event we've had, Jackson Heights is such a beautiful community in our solidarity for our LGBTQ neighbors here and across the city. So let me ask you something. We know this is coming, going on, right? Mm -hmm. Would you ever consider taking a break on Drag Story Hour, let things cool down maybe a little bit, and then, you know, reintroducing it again? No, because the truth is, when confronted with this kind of hate that is really hate against our LGBTQ neighbors, that is really about banning books from our libraries, going after librarians, engaging in hate uh, against those who choose to celebrate who they are and express themselves. We have to stand together and teach our children the values of inclusivity, of tolerance, of accepting people as who they are. This kind of hate is offensive to our values as New Yorkers and to our society. And we've got to stand up together as a community and celebrate and protect our LGBTQ Let me, let me ask neighbors. you a question. What if a parent chooses not to take their kid to Drag Story Hour because one of the co-founders who says the, the role of this is to instill the imagination and play of gender fluidity of childhood. And if a parent says, I don't agree with that, what if they choose to not do that? Is, is, do you have an issue with a parent that says, I'm not going to take my kid to drag story out? Absolutely not. That's yeah. completely fine. Parents make the choice for themselves whether they want to send their children to program. I mean, the irony of it all is that this hate group that says it's about um, that they have freedom of speech and expression, mm -hmm. they're engaging in it to prohibit the expression of other 
people to prohibit parents from making their own choice of what the kind of programming they yeah. choose to send their kids to. And that's why I said before, this is really about weaponizing our children's innocence to drive a far-right culture war, and we can't stand for that. We need to be che teaching our children the value of embracing everyone, of celebrating love, joy, and literacy, because that's ultimately what Drag Story Hour programming at our libraries is all about. All right, Councilman Shaker Krishnan, thank you so much for coming in and uh, sharing what's going on in yeah. Jackson Heights with us. Thank you for having me. All right. Absolutely. All the best and good luck. Thank you. you got a lot to worry about in New York City as a council member. There's a lot going on, uh, and I would argue a far more serious issues that we need to be focused on right now than Drag Story Hour in our libraries. Mm. All right. We'll talk.